Siska. That's filming. G'day, we are in the Witch Sundays region of the Great Barrier Reef. Beautiful day, sun is shining, loads of people around. I'm here with Josh from G Adventures. So I get the privilege of taking um, anyone that comes on a G Adventure tour out to these beautiful Whit Sundays with our partner Southern Cross Sailing. And one of the highlights of coming out of here is obviously the Great Barrier Reef. So a lot of coral, a lot of uh, sea life and biodiversity and those types of things. So coming out here today with Reef Ecologic, I wanted to learn a lot more about what they do for uh, the projects out here in the Whit Sundays. It's been really, really good, really good uh, educational trip for us to come out here and learn a lot more about it. And, I'm loving every moment of it all. It's absolutely stunning out here today. Um, the visibility is really good and I'm just loving it. We are back doing some monitoring and maintenance on the coral nurseries that we're supported by the Queensland Government, Daydream Island, the Great Barrier Reef Foundation and a bunch of other funding partners, G Adventures, Planetera. So always nice to have good weather. One of the main purposes of today is to go and repair the coral nursery. So we had some of the nurseries growing with biodegradable rope, but the biodegradable rope actually biodegraded too quickly, or did exactly what it was supposed to do, which is biodegrade. So we've taken the corals that were compromised and put them onto non-biodegradable ropes, and let them grow for another six, seven months before we plant them out onto the natural reef, which we'll plan to do mid-year, around June 2020. What's been really good today here in Manor not so long ago, there were about four or five other boats here. Lots of tourists in the water snorkeling, and many of the tourism operators were actively taking their passengers over to the coral nurseries, over to the underwater art, sharing these new experiences, these innovative projects to try and support the, and assist the recovery of sites in the Great Barrier Reef. And that's what we're really trying to do is uh, start a conversation. Why do we have these? Talk about the challenges the Great Barrier Reef is facing and then inspire people to care and change their action in everyday life to reduce climate change pressures, carbon emissions and hopefully as a collective humanity we can do all of these things to try and improve the health of coral reefs, the Great Barrier Reef and this beautiful planet we call home. Open your